Hey, hey Super Coders! Today we're going to learn how to load in a picture as a background for an app. We're also going to reference strings rather than typing them in directly. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need is an image to use as your background. This can be any image you like. Give your image file a name, making sure to only use lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. Using symbols or uppercase letters won't work. Now in your Android project, Drag your image into one of the Jawables directories inside your resources directory. There are multiple Jawables folders, so you can store different quality versions of your Jawables, but you only really need to put your background in one of these folders. Now you can load your background by adding this code. Be sure to replace your background with the name of your background file, minus the file extension, probably .jpg, .bmp, or .png. Next, we'll show you how to use a file called strings.xml. This will let you keep all of the strings in your app, like labels and button text, in the same place, so it's easy to change them later. You can find the strings.xml file in res slash values. You can add more strings by following this format. Replace string underscore name with a unique identifier for the string and string text with whatever you want the string to contain. But how do we include these strings in our app now? It's easy. Just type at string slash string underscore name, where string underscore name is the identifier where you set up in strings.xml. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye, Bye Super Coders! Coders.